Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about one of the least clear concepts of all time. There's some things in life that are pretty hard to explain. What is God? Why are we here? How does deja vu work? What does water taste like? What color is a mirror? And of course, what the hell is ITO? If you Google the definition of ITIL, pronounced ITIL, you'll probably end up not really understanding what it is. Although ITIL is actually really easy to understand, somehow we see many in the industry feeling confused. So today, I'm gonna change all that. Drum roll, please. ITIL is a set of guidelines with instructions for how you can provide the best service possible. Doesn't that sound useful? The instructions are purposefully general so you and everyone else could easily customize and implement it in your unique business. Example time! Let's talk about something we all love and cherish. Pizza. You can think of ITIL as a guide to opening your very own pizza place. You're the chef trying to come up with a great menu. To offer the best pizza possible, you look online for the best and highest rated pizza recipes when you stumble upon a recipe that has been tested by the greatest chefs in the world, and they all agree, it's the best recipe for pizza ever. Mm. Wouldn't you wanna have this pizza on your menu? I bet you would. There's a great chance that the recipe will make a lot of your customers really happy. But what about the ones who eat only gluten-free? In this case, you can take the recipe and customize it for your various customers' needs by changing the flour to a gluten-free flour. The rest of the recipe will stay untouched and you'll still get the best pizza possible considering everyone's needs. Same in ITIL, which offers a set of suggestions, recipes that were put together over time to form the best practices, which enable you to provide the best service possible. So, ITIL is basically an approach of how to do IT service management. It's not the only method, but it's the most popular one. ITIL is used by most of the biggest companies worldwide across all industries. If it works for them, it'll probably work for you too. So let's say you want your business to start working with ITIL. First, you'll need to decide which parts you want to implement. Second, you'll need to align your IT services to the business needs the way ITIL says you should. This can be made easy with help from a service desk software tool like Sysate, which has the structure built in, making it much simpler to implement ITIL into your IT operations. Another thing which is very important to know is that ITIL is always being updated evolving to fit to the modern and changing times. Naturally, the best practices of 2006 will not be the best practices of 2018. In 2018, Axelos, the owner of ITIL, announced that the next version, to be called ITIL 4, will be released in early 2019. We're pretty sure it's not gonna be the last update. So, we've touched the tip of the iceberg in this video of what ITIL is. We hope things are clear for you now. Thank you all for watching, and see you in our next video.